I think the the dislike of and anguish over social media is just growing and growing and growing. Uh, and it's part of our problem, particularly in democracies, uh, in terms of building consensus around any issue. It's really hard to govern today. You okay. It's really hard to govern. What I'm hearing from John Kerry is it's really hard to control people because there is this alternative media out there. There's all this freedom to get signal from multiple sources. Now, of course, there's a lot of noise, but people are getting signal and it's breaking through. And it used to be piped through just a few channels and it was the signal that they want to give you, which was lies. They had a narrative that they had to push and people bought it because that was where they got their information from. Now people are seeking out their own information, their own signals, and they're actually getting truth. God forbid people are actually getting truth. Can't, you, know, you know, there's no, the referees we used to have to determine what's a fact and what isn't a fact are kind of, you know, been eviscerated to a certain degree. And um, people go and their people self-select where they go for their news or for their information. And then you just get into a vicious cycle. So he says that like it's a bad thing. So it's really, really hard, much harder to build consensus today than at any time in the 45, 50 years I've been involved in this. And, and I... You hear that, John Kerry? That's the sound of the world's smallest violin. You know, there's a lot of discussion now about how you curb uh, those entities uh, in order to guarantee that you're going to have, you know, some accountability on facts, etc. But look, if people go to only one source and the source they go to is sick and, uh, you know, has an agenda and they're putting out disinformation, uh, our First Amendment stands as a major block to the ability to be able to just, you know. Okay. So James Lindsay has a phrase, and that's the iron law of woke projection never misses. We're seeing that right here. Hammer it out of existence. So what you need, what we need is to, is to win the ground, win the right to govern by hopefully having, uh, you know, winning enough votes that you're free to be able to, to uh, implement change. Uh, now, obviously... The he is trying so hard not to say it. He wants to change the Constitution. He wants to somehow persuade people to abandon the First Amendment. But he doesn't want to say that. He can't say that. Because that would give up the ghost, right? He can't do that. He has to sort of nudge you along. You know, like, you know what I mean. You, you know what I mean. But you, you, you do know what he means, right? There are some people in our country who are prepared to implement change in other ways. And so that's you're questioning dangerous. really if uh, democracy can survive unregulated I think social I think, media. I think democracies are, deep, are very challenged right now and have not proven they can move fast enough or big enough to deal with the challenges that we are facing. And to me, that is part of what this race, uh, this, this election is all about. We'll they can't adapt quickly enough to the freedom that the internet has afforded people. So they really need like a, a radical totalitarian uh, movement across all countries. That's what he wants. He wants tyranny, essentially, because it's the only way that his system, his system of power and control that he's enjoyed for 50 years, which is surely existed much longer his system is actually going out the wayside you know and legacy media controlled by government governments around the world is dying their narrative is 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 dissolving and they cannot tolerate that they need that control they cannot have citizens dissenting we break the fever in the United States. And I think the... So, yeah, there you have it. 
John Kerry doesn't believe in freedom of speech. He doesn't believe in freedom of thought. He believes in total mind control by controlling what the narrative is through traditional media, right? The internet has given people really the, the most freedom, the most control, the, the most... It, you could not before... Like if you wanted to learn something, you'd actually have to know what books to buy or, or you'd have to order special videos from people who are trying to preach the truth and a lot of them are nut jobs. Uh, but these days, you can get on the ground reporting. You can get people fact checking in real time. You can get uh, uh, whistleblowers that are exposing the lies all in real time. So many different channels out there that are documenting what's actually happening, showing the, the farce that, that is uh, the narrative that our, our government has, has been um, pushing down our throats. So, yeah, John Kerry's a piece of shit. That's it.